Now you need wires to connect your Gemma M0 boards to your Teensy. And so there are, you can buy wires with three conductors in them or you can make your own. I've got some here that are wire wrap wires. I like these because they're super fine. They're like 32 gauge and they're very flexible. When you get done, you want it to look something like this, a nice flexible wire that you can put inside of clothing or on your art project, whatever it is you're doing. What you do that is just to take these three wires, which I've cut ahead of time, Make sure you get it as long as you need for your project. And you just sort of bundle them together and give them a twist and then away you go like this. And when you get done, you'll have a nice tight, flexible wire to use to connect the Gemma M0 boards, which are the sensors for your project, to your Teensy board, which is the brains of the project and so forth and finally we get to the end you don't have to twist it all the way to the end because you're going to use these uh, you're going to strip these wires and connect them to the TNC eventually so there we have a nice cable that will be very uh, flexible and useful for your art project attaching the wires to the Gemma M0 is pretty simple compared to some of the other things we've done so you take the cable that you made earlier, or perhaps one you bought, and if you need to strip the wires to strip the insulation off the outside, it's pretty simple. You take a pair of uh, wire cutters and you take the wire and you make about a, maybe a three eighths of an inch, half inch back, and you squeeze it gently and you pull it. If you do it just right, it pulls the insulation right off without cutting the wire. I didn't do quite enough on this one, so I'll do a little more, there we go. And the same for the other two. If you accidentally cut the wire, you know, it's just a good thing to practice a little first, but if you cut the wire, no big deal. You just trim it back and try again. So there we have three stripped wires. I don't know how well you can see those in the video, but... And then we have just have to connect them to the correct places on the Gemma. The black wire is ground, and it's the easiest because if you look on the Gemma, there is a hole labeled ground. It's this one right here next to the USB. So we put the wire through the hole and wrap the stripped part around. If you do it just right, you can actually wrap it around a couple of times. And then with that firmly in place there, a nice little twist on it to hold it into the hole, you get your soldering iron, a little dab of solder, and boom, you're done. The yellow wire is going to go to our output, and it's the one right next to the ground. It's labeled D1, and also below that is labeled, it's got a little a squiggly symbol and an A0. And again, we wrap, wrap the wire, stick the wire through the hole and sort of twist it so that it's mechanically held. And we give it a little twist. Get the other one out of the way. A little dab of solder. And that one's done. And finally, the red one goes to, to power the device. It goes to the one labeled V out. We are actually going to use this for V in, um, which uh, I checked with the manufacturer. This is going to power the device. And it's okay to do it this way. So again, you crimp the wire over, and solder it. we're done with that and when you get done with this phase it should look like this you've got the red going to the V out yellow going to the D1 and black going to the ground wire the last wire we want to add is the one that goes to our sensor whatever that's going to be at the touch sensor it doesn't matter what color it is just it's nice to make it different you might want to use a fairly flexible wire for this and again you Crimp it on air, solder it, 
You might want to use something like a stranded wire with an alligator clip on it. Just depends on what you're going to be doing. Okay, and finally, you want to do a strain relief. So there's two holes here we're not using, and we're going to use those just to sort of tie it, not a knot exactly, but a little bit of a, so we're going to stick this through one of those unused holes and pull it all the way through. And on the back side, just make sure that it's, you've got it sort of tight, but not really tight. You just want to get those wires kind of out of the way so there's not a lot of dangling wires. And then stick it through there again. Now we've got a loop. Pull that kind of tight, holding onto this side so that it doesn't pull on the actual solder joints. Give it a little squeeze. And now, you've sort of created a strain relief so that when you pull on that, it doesn't pull on these solder joints. And now we have a completed Gemma M0 ready to attach to our TNC.